Hey, I'm sitting here in the dark. It's 7.41 p.m. It is March 9th. And I am kicking back here in my room and relaxing. Just got out of the shower and I was doing um, some thinking while I was in the shower. The shower is a great place to do thinking. <laughs> the bathroom is a great place to do thinking in general. Anyway, so I know there's a lot of rumors that go on about, you know, um, you know, um, is Maria going to be with the guy from high school? Is she going back to her ex-husband? All these things are rumors, okay? I do believe that my ex-family put in some sort of place. They preferred me to stay married to Joel. Um, but that's not what I want to do, and that's not what I'm going to do. Um, I, I don't... After what happened, I am absolutely disturbed by the actions of those people. And um, it has created a lot of trauma-inducing feelings inside me. And um, when that happens, um, I'm traumatized because something like that is just, it's unforgivable, which I've already mentioned before. So how that rumor could persist is like kind of shocking to me. Also, um, the guy from high school, I haven't seen him in over 30 years, okay? I have not spoken to him. I have not received any emails, phone calls, nothing from him at all. So, um, and he knows how to get in touch with me. So, I mean, obviously I'm not seeing him. I, you know, people know that I stay in my house. Most of the time when I'm out in town, I'm either with my son or I'm by myself. So there is no one that I'm seeing. Um, it's my choice not to be married. I don't want to be married. And in my mind, in my heart, I don't ever want to be married. Marriage is not for me. Now, I know some people like would like to see, because a lot of women like to project their own feelings, okay? And I know when you're younger, people really emphasize the whole thing of getting married. And there's a lot of romantic feelings that, or um, romanticism that, that swirls around that whole idea. You know, like women think about the dress, who they're gonna invite, and they focus on romance and all this other stuff. Marriage is an institution. And uh, if you don't fully understand that, then you're in for a big surprise. Um, I don't want to get married. I don't see myself married. I, there's nothing about married life that appeals to me at all. At all. And I'm not saying that it's not good for everyone else because I think there's some people who might be happy married. Okay? But marriage is not for me. Um... And it's just something that I prefer to avoid, you know. Um, it's not about an act of rebellion. I know that people, especially a lot of people who kind of pr um, push the whole religious idea. You know, like I mentioned the Bible, you know, there's reasons why some people choose to be single. And the Bible said if you want to be single, and if you're, it's better to remain single than to be wet married if you if, if, the only reason why a person should get married if, if they're like in consumed with passion like they they need to have sexual relationships they need to have that and if that's the case then you should settle down and do that there i don't care about those things i know people find that hard to believe they really do they think well you know i i find that very hard to believe it's it's true i i don't care i really don't um, if I did want it, then I would go out and find it, right? And it, it wouldn't be hard to find. I mean, there's a lot of people my age, a lot of older men, who would love to have, like, you know, um, I guess, touch-and-go type relationships. But I, I'm just not. I, it's not something I'm interested in doing. I get most of my motivation just by what goes on in my mind. I'm a very spiritual person. And this is what floats my boat that's just how it is um when i was younger i did want to get married i remember thinking about marriage all the time and of course it was that unrealistic type romance and stuff that a lot of little girls dream about you know having this husband they're going to be kissing all over all day long and that sort of thing but as you get older you realize what marriage really is and once you understand that then you know you make the decision that this is not this isn't for me. I, I don't want to be married. Um, I especially don't want to be married to Joel. Um, <laughs> um, and anyway, so, um, and I, and I do resent that, that other people would talk about my, my life in that sort of manner and then base everything on like my employment around 
a conjugal situation, especially when I'm not married to Joel. I am not married to him. I do have my bird divorce papers. They are easily retrieved. They can easily be retrieved. I have them, you know. Um, since it was just something that happened about a year and a half ago, there I easily I have them like right available for for anybody to see if they wanted to question that. I'm not married, um, and I don't see myself getting married. I'm not dating anyone. I'm not trying to date anyone. Like yesterday, I went on Google Play to download some apps because I could be, you know, I should have a pen pal. You know, I just recently lost my friend that I had been communicating with for over about five years. And um, I do miss her. And I, I don't believe that you can replace people. Okay. I do believe that, you know, relationships should be cherished. Okay. So I don't sit there and expect for myself to find somebody that's going to be as dear to me as this particular person, okay? But I do need interaction. I can think, okay, I'll do that. So I tried a few of them. And a lot of them do emphasize dating. I'm not interested in dating. I'm really not. I'm not interested in dating. Because I don't want to have to deal with the, 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 the issue of somebody expecting me to settle down. I don't want to settle down. That's just not for me. It's not. I would be a terrible wife. I don't have the ability to love someone like that, okay? For somebody to... Um, basically abuse me and I'm just going to sit there and take it. I'm just not going to do that. So um, I, I really do resent that. Also, um, you know, I think some people think that just because, and I, I don't think my clothes are flashy. I do have some really cool outfits that I don't wear, uh, you know, because if I'm going to work, then there's really nowhere where it's really place to wear them except for in my house. So I don't, just because somebody dresses nice or whatever, um, doesn't have anything to do with love and romance. You know, some people like myself, I have an interest in fashion. You know, like if I see fashion shows, I, don't, I hate to use the word fashion. I don't like the word fashion. Uh, fashion to me is something that's like, you know, uh, something comes in style one season and then like it becomes uncool to wear it the next season. I'm using the word fashion because it's that's just the word most people refer to. But I do like style. I like I like clothes. I like things like that. Okay, it has nothing to do with romance. Like when I was younger, I would look at certain people who wore things on TV, and I would think that's really cool. There was no connection or association with love or anything like that at all. Really, there's not. Um, so I I think that. When at my last job, you know, which I was being closely monitored, which I really do resent because that causes sickness. It does. It because it causes agitation and it causes people whatever. Um, you know, just because somebody and really, I don't even think the clothes I was wearing was even flashy. On the days that it would rain, I was wearing rain boots. I would wear jeans, um, sweaters, um, just regular clothes. So I, I kind of I do. I totally resent the fact that somebody would blow things out of proportion. Um, in the manner that they did, you know, um, what, the, the, when I put clothes on in my house or when I get dressed in the morning, I'm not thinking about male attention. I'm not, it's just, you know, I, I like clothes. I, I, you know, I have a sewing machine. Um, I, I enjoy clothes. I, I, I'm a huge fan of fashion. Like, you know, I've been thinking, I, I would like to go to some fashion shows. I think they're, I think it's interesting. It has nothing to do with that at all. And I think for some women, like for example, who, let's just say for example, there's a woman who kind of sits at home or whatever, and then she finds that she's interested in a man. All of a sudden, out of the blue, for no apparent reason, she decides to change her entire lifestyle. And she starts, you know, she goes to the salon, she gets her hair dyed or bleached or whatever. She might start putting on different clothes and, and whatever to get his attention. I've always been like this. I have always enjoyed clothes, accessorizing, that sort of thing. So it has nothing to do with relationships, me wanting to be in a relationship. And I know it's a lot, a lot of women or men in general, people in general, okay? They think it's, it's strange that somebody would not want to be in, in a relationship or a marriage. I have not seen too many good examples of marriages okay i really haven't okay mine included but not just mine it was a lot of other people and it, it's just something that i would prefer not to do okay i i don't want to get married now um um i do thoroughly resent like people talking about my personal life and projecting things especially when 
you know, this is supposed to be a highly orchestrated, you know, um, project to where people in the community are like monitoring your actions. I'm not sure if they're really paying me that much attention now because, you know, there's really not much to talk about. But I'm just saying is in the beginning, it's like, you know, when you're gang stalk, you have your neighbors who are in on it. This person's in on it. I mean, you're, you're, you're under surveillance. You're being monitored all the time. If this was true, you would see me with somebody. You know, you'd peep, see, you know, a man coming in and out of my home. You'd see this sort of stuff. It, it doesn't happen, right? So, so it's bullshit. <laughs> it's bullshit, you know. Um, now, for myself, marriage isn't for me. I don't want it. You know, I mean, as a matter of fact, I would prefer people not even use Maria and the word marriage in the same sentence. Okay. I'm not, I'm appalled by marriage. Okay. Everything about marriage to me is something that I don't want. I do not want to get married ever, ever. And um, I think sometimes like my, my ex family, my mother thinks that marriage is safe, you know, meaning that it's, it, you know, you'd be safer if you were with a guy or whatever. But I have to think about what the psychological abuse that um, Joel and his family caused me. And I'm not in any way looking back or thinking, you know, I wish things could have been different. I don't think that to me, what happened to me was something that was horrifying and um, devastating. Like it was devastating that somebody could manipulate, manipulate your employment like that and then, you know, know that you're going through that sort of mental tr stress and never say anything. That's the ultimate abuse. That's like somebody like holding you down in a basement and watching you being tortured. That I, I look at it that way, okay? And so no, I, I, I would not want that. I don't ever, ever want to ever see his face ever again. So, um, the only thing I care about is taking care of myself. I look at my age right now and I keep thinking, okay, my, the life expectancy of someone like myself really isn't that long, okay? And what I wanna do in my life is I wanna go to work and I wanna continue my interest, um, my hobbies and focus on spirituality. I, and, and I know that's kind of a, a hard thing for some people to understand, but you know, this is, this is my life. This is the only thing I really care about. It would be great to have like a great a girlfriend, a friend that I got along well with and I could do things with and go places with and we could do girl things together. But unfortunately, you know, that doesn't come into my life. OK, so which is one of the reasons why I tried that that app, but it wasn't something that I was really looking for. It's hard to find, you know, people I mean, when you find somebody that you really do like, it's very hard to to find someone else like that because you, I cherish that person. Like you can't replace people. Like for example, you might have a child and you love that child to death, okay? And you might have another one, but that doesn't that doesn't take the other kid's place. It, it's, I guess I, I understand how to hold people up on a pedestal. You know what I mean? And I appreciate um, people as individuals. And I know that they, you, you can't replace people. You, you just can't, you know? So anyway, um, I do. I get tired of the whole thing about the whole love thing and um, the whole, it's just all of it. I get tired of it. You know, when I go in for look, looking for work, I'm, I'm there to look for work. You know, I'm not, I'm not interested in, in the game playing. I'm not interested in somebody wants to be set up with this person or this is, I, I don't want that. I have no interest in it. It's like, all it does is piss me off. It, it pisses me off because number one, it's a form of harassment, <laughs> you know, um, I have very little money, okay, and very little time to devote myself to traumatizing events. And when I get, when, when to me, bringing me in for fake job interviews, I'm not saying the job interviews that I've gone to recently are fake. I'm just saying in general, okay, in the beginning, I know that was something that was going on. It's not appreciated. It's not appreciated because, you know, I, I'm a woman who is very serious about going to work. I don't have, and it's like, why are you taking advantage of my time and my money? It is money. It's money. Gas is expensive. I don't have money to even start my engine without thinking about it. You know what I mean? So don't waste my fucking time. You know, it's, it's just, it's, that's just the way it is. You know, um, I, uh, it's hard because like, I sometimes feel like I'm talking to people who don't understand that. 
you know, like I, they don't understand, like <laughs> they don't understand how to respect other people. And, um, you know, I, I, I respect other people's desires and their wishes. Like I know some people, they want to get married. I don't sit here and protest them. You know, I have no, absolutely no desire whatsoever to get married. I don't want it. I don't want it. I'm, I plan on dying Maria Gordon. I know that's just the way it is, but it is, that's the way it is. And some people say, you're saying that from a place of hurt. You're saying that because you've been hurt in the past. I would say a part of it is, but I do know that when I was married to Joel, or when I thought I was married to Joel, you know, um, I was thinking to myself many times, I kept thinking, you know, I, marriage isn't for me. I remember he and I even, we even talked about it one time. I was like, I just, I just, I can't do this. You know what I mean? I, I mean, he and I were like good buddies, but our relationship was always like buddies or roommates or something along those lines. I never felt, I never felt like I was like in a relationship like that. It just, that's just how it is. So anyway, I just wanted to come out here and say that because I get so tired of it. I do. I mean... I'm a woman who is stimulated by certain ideas, certain thoughts, certain activities, and love just isn't one of them. So I'm going to wrap up this video, and I'll be back with another video some other time later. Take care.